Good evening, WJCC School Board, Superintendent Dr. Heron, senior leadership, parents, and community. When you step on the campus of the Lafayette High School, home of the Rams, you can't help but feel at home. You see, it's more than a school. It's a place that we call home. And when you enter into our home, you cannot help but see and feel the sense of community. You feel school pride, academic excellence. What a truly amazing and special place. And what makes it so are the awesome teachers, students, staff, families, and the community. This evening, I will give you a glimpse in one of the academic wings of our picturesque mansion that sits on the hill of Long Hill Road. Through a course called Link 5, there are five awesome teachers who use a teaching method in which 48 freshmen students gain knowledge and skills by working for an extended period of time to investigate and respond to an authentic, engaging, and complex question, problem, or challenge. Through the Link 5 pilot, the use of project-based learning is an action of learning through identifying real-world problems and developing solutions. Authentic engagement emerges through the project-based learning. Our students enrolled in the Link 5 course, they emerge as critical thinkers, collaborators, more than effective communicators. They're creative thinkers, and we prepare them to be ethical and global citizens. So what Link 5 did was for their first summative project, they did a project summary where students published a leadership magazine after engaging in research and collaborative class discussions on a selected historical leader to determine their leadership style and resulting in impact on society. The research process students examined were primary and secondary resources. They participated in personal leadership inventory survey. They compared their leadership abilities to historical leaders in order to write an expository essay. Our students use principles of design in conjunction with Microsoft Office, Suite Products, and Adobe InDesign. They had a driving question, and each of you do have the magazine that emerged from that. The driving question behind your magazine, Movers and Shakers, was how did historical and geophysical features shape leaders, and how did they impact the world? So I want Brooke to talk to us, or are we going to start with Ann? Let Ann talk to us and show you what they did and what they learned through this journey at this amazing place. During the Leaf 5 Leadership Project, I feel as if I learned a lot, starting out with something as amazing as collaborating with my classmates. It was really fun to get to learn more about everyone else, including the different leaders that they had. I definitely wouldn't have gotten to know some pretty crazy things about their leaders if I wasn't able to collaborate with them. Another, another really cool thing that we did was InDesign. InDesign is the program that we use to put our magazine in. At first it was a little bit complicated and stressful to get it in because it would be laggy or it would crash or it wouldn't save properly or something like that. But once we had our finished project, I realized it was a really fun program to use and that I would definitely use it again. It was also really cool learning about my leader because I think a lot of people always picture leaders as someone who's just a good person. But my leader wasn't exactly that. Hernan Cortez did a lot of pretty terrible things, like wiping out all the Aztecs in Mexico and strangling his wife to death. He wasn't exactly the best guy, but yet he's still honored as a leader because he did something great, and that was to claim Mexico for Spain. So I really appreciated doing this project and learning more about different leaders and what leadership is in general. Thank you, Ms. Garys. So next, I want you to hear what Brooke had to say. The Movers and Shakers magazine project taught me a lot over the past few weeks. Um, I've learned and expanded my knowledge of leadership and collaboration with a partner or group. Um, and the programs we use, such as in Adobe InDesign and Photoshop, have really helped me develop my skill in working on uh, magazine spread and helped me focus on the right criteria and so that I was visually pleasing for a crowd. The programs were difficult to navigate at first, but after a while, they really 
kind of we really kind of learned off of them and developed new skills that helped us make the project a success. Um, my leader for this project was Queen Elizabeth I, and when I first received her, I wasn't really sure I was going to enjoy the project or like the person I was researching. But after my research was finished, I really found that she was an important and um, interesting individual. Um, overall, this project has helped me open my eyes to what real leadership really is, and I can't wait to see the final. Brooke, so in front of you, you do have our Movers and Shakers magazine that was actually drafted and created and produced by our Link 5 students. So starting with the end in mind and assisted and supported not only by our Link 5 staff, our students do think critically. And so you can see there how our students actually engage in their project-based learning. These are amazing Link 5 faculty in which they are supported um, each and every day. So here's what our Link 5 teachers have to say about movers and shakers. Sure, so the goal for this project was really to have students look at historical figures from the whole scope of um, World History II, which is from the Renaissance all the way up until the present, and to really go in-depth researching one of those figures um, to learn everything about their historical significance and their leadership skills, um, and then to create a professional-looking uh, magazine about them. Well, we had um, the editor of the Next Door Neighbor magazine come in, and she talked about laying out a magazine. Um, and so that was, I mean, I don't know that, that was sort of our entry event to the project. Um, the students worked in um, the four courses to create different pieces of the magazine to be brought to the table to be put together into one large spread. Um, so in English, they worked on um, writing. Um, they had to um, research and understand their leadership, um, that their care, their uh, leader in history, and the um, leadership style that they had. Um, in art, they studied the principles of design, mm -hmm. um, which they applied to the magazine spread. Um, in um, computer information system, they looked at the other elements on the, on the page. So, for example, a timeline and using um, Microsoft Word and Photoshop to, to move those into InDesign and create the spread. I think our hope was that the students would um, be able to celebrate their accomplishments in the magazine to sort of um, show that to their family and, and the community, um, but to to really start to reflect on um, themselves as a leader and some of those leadership um, styles and characteristics that they studied. Um, they might not have always agreed with the leader or the leader's positions, but that they could see that the leadership um, skills, they can manifest themselves in a lot of different mm -hmm. forms. Yeah. So. And I think, like, as far as the exhibition night, you know, it's a, like we were, we were all working so hard, teachers and the students, and, you know, I kept thinking back to those videos and being like, okay, well, like, those exhibition nights are so amazing, and, like, as soon as we get there, everybody's going to be like, okay, this is why we're doing this, this is why we're working so hard, so I think that making it really special for the kids was important. And it was a cool night. I mean, they really liked it. They liked going up to talking to their parents, talking to their friends' parents mm -hmm. about it. They like showing their, their product off. And um, like Jennifer got a red carpet for them to walk good. in on. Um, and they all had to dress up and, you know, just like get their magazine and have their picture mm -hmm. taken with the magazine. Like they were like movie stars. Like it was like it was really, cool. you know. They liked it. There was a lot of connections for the students about um, what they did and the true purpose of why they were doing it. So mm -hmm. the students made the connection of something that they were writing in English and what that product was in the end. And it was the, the, the so what to why am I doing something. Mm -hmm. and, and that was really great to see. Mm -hmm. They did um, Flipgrid reflections videos. So they talked about like what they learned about leadership and their experience in the magazine. Um, and they had that ready, so that was like kind of an interactive thing. Um, so I think that kind of helped prime them to 
get ready to talk mm-hmm. about their work with people. And this first one was kind of a low pressure. They kind of had to show up and talk to some people about it. In the future, we're thinking about giving them some more ownership um, of it and some, and some more control. But this one was kind of an easy, uh, low pressure. Yeah, they just had to situation. dress up nice, show mm-hmm. up with a family member. Yeah. And we took that opportunity to kind of express to them, um, you know, professionalism um, and self representation and what you wear and how you act. And um... I feel like that's something for like everything in this program. Mm-hmm. Like, we have ideas in our mind of how things should be, and we don't get that sometimes we forget um, that they're just ninth graders mm-hmm. and they need to really have some kind of frame of reference to get to like the really good spot. So, so thank you um, to our Link 5 teachers. So clearly our students really consider a future path. They actually create an array of opportunities that focuses their brains to think globally, um, communicate um, in a variety of settings. And so clearly you can see that our students that sit high on that mansion that that I've told you about, that they are ready. They are able to grasp concepts. They're able to think critically. They're able to apply those learned informational skills in real world situations. But they cannot do that alone. They have great parental support. They have the great support and collaboration of their peers. And so they are well equipped for success, no matter what their path or their passion. These are our Link 5 leaders. And so I'm going to ask Sam to just come up really quickly and give you a firsthand um, overview of how it's benefited him. I promise to speak less than 60 seconds. All right. Hi, my name is Sam Adkins, and I'm a student in the Link 5 uh, course at Lafayette. I really uh, appreciate the opportunity uh, to be here tonight and to be in the Link 5 program. I think it's taught all of the students how to be ethical leaders and it's taught us a lot about the world and how uh, business, history, technology, art, and science and English uh, really affect um, your businesses and how you are when you're an adult. Uh, The projects that we do are a lot of fun and they teach us a lot. I think that the leadership magazine was a great way to show us to take pride in our work because we knew that it was going to be published and that was something that meant a lot to us and so it had to be our best work and so that's what we did. We put our best work forward and we even got to incorporate parts of what we do outside of school into the magazine. Uh, Like I really enjoy doing art and I did some cartoons uh, throughout the magazine and some other people drew the covers, uh, and we got to organize it using, um, as they said, Adobe InDesign. And I really think that it was a great way for us to uh, take pride in our work and to show us uh, what we have to offer and uh, really how great uh, this program is and just how fun it is to learn. Uh, currently, we are working on a project. Um, we call it the Water Project, and we're learning about how water affects um, the world in all aspects um, and its natural disasters and how uh, great it is uh, and how necessary it is to life and we've built fountains in art class Um, we're working on some big poster boards and powerpoints and both science and English and that's been a lot of fun and uh, it's been a bit of a step up from the magazine project but it's going to be really fun to see how that Uh, We pull it off, and I'm really excited to see how it looks. Um, And I think we're all putting our best work forward, and this time we have a bit more knowledge about what we're supposed to be doing and how uh, we need to present the research we've done, and we've gotten to do a lot more control on that. Um, And so I think it's a really special uh, course that is at Lafayette, and uh, it's been one of the best learning experiences I think I've had. So, thank you. So I want to thank Sam because clearly you can see for me, I have a script, um, and clearly he did not. Um, So it does tell you a lot about what we are developing um, on that place I say at 4460 Long Hill Road. Come by and visit us. But at this time, I do want to acknowledge our Link 5 faculty, um, if they could stand. Stand.
They're not shy. I don't know why they've been shy tonight. <laughs> um, Link 5 students, I want to thank them. I want to thank Samuel. I definitely want to thank the Link 5 parents um, and our Link 5 community. Um, definitely for our athletic department who really did help um, us with our funding sources for our Moves and Shakers uh, magazine. Definitely our faculty and staff and WJCC school board and our central office. So thank you.